Saka Fets YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Let us make some creamy pasta with chicken, tomato and spinach. Hello my darlings, it's so nice to have you back here in my kitchen. It's Valentine's Day and I thought let me hook you up with a quick little dinner recipe for yourself if you celebrate Valentine's Day or for you and your loved one. So I'm gonna start by seasoning my chicken and make sure to check down below in the description box for all of the ingredients that I'm using. I'm also gonna be using this baby plum tomatoes in this recipe. I just wash them and I'm just gonna go ahead and slice them in half then we're gonna get cooking. Now that my chicken and tomatoes are prepped, I'm gonna go ahead and cook some pasta. I'm gonna be using some tagliatelle, my favorite pasta. And I thought let me show you my gorgeous roses that the hubby got me. Three bouquets of the most gorgeous roses, but yeah, let's cook some pasta. <laughs> I'm gonna let it cook for about 10-12 minutes according to package instructions. And before I drain it off, I'm gonna reserve some of that pasta water and set my pasta to one side till I'm ready for it. In a clean pot, I'm going in with some butter and I'm going to go ahead and cook my chicken until it's no longer pink. Um, it takes about 4-5 or five minutes on both sides to achieve this. So I keep my heat on sort of like a low to medium heat and then make sure I flip it halfway on both sides. Once it's all cooked, I'm going to remove it from the pot and go in with some tomatoes. Now that my tomatoes are in, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a quick mix. Let it soften for about 2 to 3 minutes and then we're gonna go in and add in some spinach. Add as much or as little spinach as you like, it's entirely up to you. And yes my loves, this is already coming along so beautifully. Once my spinach started to shrink, I went in with some double cream, you can use some heavy cream or some half and half, 
give it a really really good mix and then I'm gonna season my pot lightly with this garlic and sea salt and you can get it from pound stretcher or you can just put a little pinch of salt and a little bit of garlic it works the same I'm also gonna go in with some Cajun seasoning just for that extra little flavor and that little kick I'm gonna go in with some parmesan shavings and yes my loves put whichever cheese you have on hand the parmesan is just gonna give it that really nice flavor really nice and bougie you know really really tasty and now I'm gonna go in and add in my cooked pasta make sure to give that a really good mix add as much cream as you like to to make it as saucy as you like i'm not really a fan of too much sauce so that's why i sort of keep it like that and yes i'm gonna go back in with my chicken and this is basically almost ready that i've added back in my chicken my pasta water that i reserved earlier i'm gonna go ahead and add it to the pot a really good mix guys this is just so delicious so tasty you can always just swap the chicken for whatever you prefer if it's shrimp or lobster you know just to make it a bit more bougie and i'm now going in with some more parmesan flakes top it off with a little bit of freshly chopped parsley and yes my darlings this was valentine's day dinner all done nothing too extra nothing too extreme we decided to spend it indoors i really hope you enjoy this quick recipe try it soon let me know how you like it it has been a pleasure having you here and i'll see you again in my next one happy valentine's day if you celebrate you're all my valentines and i can't wait to see you in my next one Bye bye